Do you still not understand? Yun ang ending ng gospel natin. It's not about the bread. It's about the attitude. Merong konting misunderstanding sa ating binasang ebanghelyo. A misunderstanding between Jesus and His disciples. Akala ng mga disciples, pinapagalitan sila ni Jesus dahil nakalimutan nilang magdala ng tinapay. Actually, meron naman silang dalang tinapay, but just one loaf of bread. The question is, nakalimutan ba talaga nila? Or is it possible that they deliberately did not bring some bread with them? Ako, palagay ko, sinadya nila talaga. And I think Jesus was upset with them because they were starting to get presumptuous that the people they will serve would feed them anyway. After all, ang kasakasama nila ay preacher na, healer pa, exorcist pa, rolled into one in Jesus. Tapos, He did not even charge for His services. Siguro, sabi nila, hindi naman siguro kalabisan na at least pakainin naman nila tayo yung mga nagbe-benefit sa ministry ni Jesus. Beneficiaries na nga sila. Walang bayad. Alangan namang bread lang, hindi tayo bigyan. And so, when Jesus told them to watch out and guard against the leaven of the Pharisees, He could have been referring to the tendency of His own disciples to develop a sense of entitlement and to demand repayment for the favors that they think they are doing for the people. Ang tawag ni Jesus, lebadura. He calls it leaven, meaning yeast. Kasi konting-konti lang ilagay mo sa masa. To the dough. Nako, it makes it rise. Yeast seems so insignificant and yet so potent. It is considered in the Jewish culture as a symbol of corruption. Konti lang, konti lang. Lahat naman ng corruption nagsisimula sa konti. Just a little bit. And I think that is the reason why during Passover, ang symbol is unleavened bread. Tinapay na walang lebadura to symbolize purity. Alam kasi ng mga disciples na to na masyadong generous si Jesus to a fault. Hindi siya yung tipo who would make demands even when he deserved it. Remember the context of the two stories of the feeding of the multitude, yung binabanggit ni Jesus later in the conversation. Doon sa dalawang instances ng pagpaparami ng tinapay, even after, after Jesus had taught and exorcised and healed the people, hindi siya humingi ng bayad. In fact, ang gusto pa niya, pakakainin pa sila. Pinaglingkuran na sila, pakakainin pa sila. He even wanted the disciples to feed the people before sending them home. Baka daw sila himatayin sa kalsada. Palagay ko alam ni Jesus that most of these people who came to Him were from among the poorest of the poor. And so when the disciples suspected that the issue behind the reaction of Jesus was bread, well, 
Jesus reminded them that bread was never an issue, even during those times that they had only five loaves for 5,000 people. He even reminds them how they actually ended up with 12 baskets of leftovers. Limang pirasong tinapay, limang libong pinakain, 12 baskets ang tira-tira. Or that time when they had seven loaves of bread for 4,000 people, they even ended up with seven baskets of leftover. So, why should it be a problem that they had only one loaf of bread with them? Obvious ba? No. The issue is not the bread, but the attitude. Remember what the disciples said. When Jesus asked them to give the people something to eat, noon pa man may attitude na itong mga disciples. Remember how they immediately counted the cost? You mean to say, we're going to spend so much money just to feed all of these people? They counted the cost. And they said, wala naman tayo kundi five loaves. They dismissed it as nothing. The five loaves and two fish that they had with them. It is this attitude that Jesus calls the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of the Herodians. As far as Jesus was concerned, even one loaf of bread is enough for 1,000 people if they had a good attitude and a generous heart. But even 1,000 loaves of bread would not be able to feed everyone if they allowed the yeast of bad attitude and a sense of entitlement to corrupt them the way it corrupted the Pharisees and the Herodians.